What's going on guys? Before we start this video, yes, I do know my lapel mic's wire is dangling down. Deal with it, don't come for me. Leave a comment down below, make fun of me, or don't, I don't care. But if you like the videos and you wanna see more, uh, like and subscribe, leave a comment down below, let me know what you wanna see next. Really helps get my channel out there to new people. Uh, it only takes a second, but shameless plug over today, we're going to be talking about getting used to red dots mounted on pistols. All right, so getting into some of the stuff that I noticed when first kind of putting this together and trying to use a red dot on a pistol slide. Before we get into it, this is a clear and safe firearm for all of you wondering, so rate my safety check down in the comments out of 69. But some of the things that I noticed uh, getting into an RMR on a pistol or a red dot in general is presenting the gun and not seeing the dot right away. Now, what I did to work around, around this is one, watch Sage Dynamics videos. He is the end all be all in terms of knowledge on pistol mounted red dots. I think he has some of the best videos out there if you're looking into like the more nitty gritty, why is the dot off and to the right uh, kind of videos. So for me, I noticed that my dot was up and to the right. So being a lefty, all I did to correct that was bring the pistol down and to the left. And then the dot was dead center right on top of my front sight post. So making minute corrections on a pistol mounted red dot compared to a rifle minor uh, adjustments are going to exaggerate the adjustment on the dot. As you can see here, a slight movement is gonna bring that dot completely off, up, down, left, right, whatever it is. Small movements are going to have big outcomes when it comes to pistol mounted red dots. So keep that in mind that your adjustments on a pistol versus a rifle red dot are going to be less exaggerated. So smaller adjustments, bigger outcome on a pistol. Bigger adjustments, bigger outcome on a rifle. You get you get where I'm going with this. So finding the dot was one of the first challenges and that just comes down to practicing, getting the fundamentals for this right. The second thing is this dot is on a completely different plane than your irons, uh, as Sage Dynamics pointed out in one of his videos. And this dot is also at a different height than your irons. So presenting a pistol with just irons, I find that presenting the pistol a little bit higher works a little bit better. But with this red dot and the way the sciencey stuff inside this little magic box happens, presenting the gun a little bit lower allows me to get that dot exactly where it needs to be every time I present the gun. So keep that in mind when you're using a red dot. Now, the irons, people are like, oh, these irons are so tall, they're taking up a lot of your window on the front of your optic, they must get in the way. Well, not really when you put that last step of bringing the gun out just a little bit lower than you usually would. The irons really aren't that noticeable. You see more of the back of the RMR than you do the irons. You see just the tiniest little top part of the sights poking through. Now, when you're presenting the gun to find that dot, what I always did with irons was track my front sight. Now. That's a good thing and a bad thing, and it comes down to kind of personal preference and the way you like to train. For me, I always track this front sight, so every time I presented that gun, that sight fell directly in the middle of my rear sight kind of valley. Now with the red dot, it works sometimes, other times it doesn't. I feel like presenting the gun a little bit lower gets me the dot every single time, where if I track the front sight as if it was an irons only gun, I only get the dot about 80% of the time. So I think combining kind of the stuff that you pick up along the way with the red dot is really gonna make it worthwhile to you and it's gonna make it easier on you at the end of the day. So small learning curves to go along with a pistol mounted red dot. I figured I'd bring you along and kind of share some of my experiences since I am somewhat new to this. Again, guys, Sage Dynamics has some really good resources on it. He's way more qualified than me, but I figured I'd bring you guys the average Joe kind of explanation of the stuff that I'm finding out with a pistol mounted red dot. So with all that being said, guys, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And as always, thank you for watching. 